whenever you guys are ready. Can you explain what you put together? Sure. Um, so we built a Rubik's Cube solver um, on a, a microprocessor that doesn't have a lot of memory. <laughs> um, so the way it works is uh, you can scramble a cube. As long as you keep it consistent, you can keep track of which moves you use. And then put those scrambling moves into, um, um, into our GUI. And then it'll solve... It'll run a solving algorithm on the microcontroller, and then the microcontroller will display um, a solution to the to the scramble cube. Okay. So we can give a quick demo. Sure. Um, do you want to maybe type what I do? Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna do R. Um, you want them all at once, or like send them individually, or? Yeah. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, all the ones. Okay. R. U. U. Um, F2. F2. Um, B. B. Is that it? Um, sure, why not? And solve them. So you've just submitted a move, a, a scrambling move sequence yeah. through the Python GUI into the pick? Yeah. Okay. And. The pick instantly gives us um, a solution and lets you step through it, so um, you're not, you know, you're not um, bombarded with a bunch of letters. Okay. So I can apply these moves back. And these, the the, is this sort of standard Rubik's cube vocabulary? Yeah, standard okay. notation. Okay. This is an inverse back move, um, which looks like this. On a clockwise. Okay. Um, and we can step through all the moves. This is an F2 move. Okay. Just like this. Mm. Okay. A U inverse move, which looks like this. Okay. And the last move is a right inverse move, which looks like this. And we have a system. So solved. it has solved the cube. Awesome. And and we were talking earlier about how it's not simply reversing. Yeah. The scrambling sequence, right? It's doing something more complicated than that. It's running um, what's called the four phase algorithm. Okay. Um, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a little difficult to describe. Sure. Yeah, but but the 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 important point being that it's not just recording the sequence that you put in and playing it in reverse. It's That's actually right. looking at the state of the cube and coming up with a solution That's based cool. on that state. Awesome. Awesome. That's really cool. Thank you.